Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this tutorial, we are going to recreate the famous Chernobyl AZ5 button with CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. Let's check it out. So here's the example page. I also set the background color and flex layout to center everything on the screen. First, we will create div for a button. Then set the size and 50% body radius to create circle shape. Then we will create a red background using radial gradient to create reflective surface effect. Then use repeat radial gradient to create brush aluminum effect. Finally, add a light reflection using four directions of white radial gradient and inset box shadow. Next, create another div for button inner frame. We will set the size a little bit bigger than the button with 50% border radius. Set the background color to black and add inset white box shadow to create light reflection. Then use flex layout to center the button. Also change the mouse cursor to pointer. Next add another div to create outer frame. Then set the size, border radius, background color, and box shadow the same way we did with the inner frame. Next, create a click effect by adding active selector. I will lower the size, brightness, and rotate the button a little bit. Also, redefine box shadow to remove the light reflection. Now, I'm going to create a glass cover. We'll need to create two dips one for glass cover and one as a wrapper. For the glass div, I will set the 100% size and gray background and apply a blur filter. For the wrapper, I will set the actual cover size that we need and add overflow hidden to hide the excess part from the blur filter. Then I'm going to create another wrapper to wrap the glass cover. We'll use absolute position and minus 50% translate to center it. Then add box shadow to create depth. Finally, add Z index to put the cover in front of the button. Also add a small border radius for finishing touch.
Now I'm going to create dips for a cover hinge. We will also need to add two dips for hinge bolts. I will set the hinge size and absolute position to put the hinge on the left side of the cover. Then add border radius, background, and box shadow. I will set the Z next to put the hinge behind the cover. Now I'm going to add the bolt. Again, set the size and 50% body radius, background radial gradient, and box shadow. Also set the Z next to put the bolt in front of the hinge. You will see the bolt's position are off. So let's add flex column layout to center them. Now I'm going to add a label above the button. I find this font, if anyone know how to pronounce the name, please let me know. It should match the theme, so let's load it to our page. I will also need to create a wrapper div to wrap the button to separate it from the level. Then I will create a div for the label. I will set the size, small border radius, background, and margin. Then set the font properties and center it using flex layout. Also box shadow to create depth. Finally, I will set the relative position to the button wrapper. This is very important, or all the child elements that have absolute position will mess up. Next, I will add a small JavaScript to add an active class to the cover when click, and remove it when click again. This way, we can track the state and allow us to open and close the cover. For the CSS, I will reduce the wrapper width to 30% and move it to the left. Then add overflow hidden to hide any excess part and increase the box shadow. Finally, we will set cursor pointer to the cover wrapper. And that's all for this tutorial, hope you guys like it. If you love to see more of these, please subscribe to our channel for a weekly update. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!